Well, the difference between doing doing voice for Call of Duty and let's say doing a, a, a character for the screen, um, uh, you can get away with so much because uh, if if this were if this were a cinematic role, um, I would probably not be cast as as Reznov. Well, certainly from from the from the sketches of, of Reznov and, the, and 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 having played the game, or my kids having played the game, um, he's a he's a much he's a much bigger physically he's much bigger than I am. So uh, uh, you can get away with a lot with a lot more. Hopefully, um, hopefully I've given him a, hopefully I've given him a, a a big voice to match to match the physicality. Reznov is a, a, a tenacious individual. He uh, he was he's born to be a, a, a soldier. Um, he is uh, he's cunning. He's uh, uh, brave. Um, he is uh, strategic. He's like one of those people that, that, that you could imagine in a, in, a, in a peacetime situation, you know, he would be, uh, he'd, be, he'd be twiddling his thumbs, you know, I mean, he wouldn't really, he wouldn't really know what to do with himself. So he is very much every inch um, uh, a soldier. Well, uh, he lives for the, he lives, he lives for the, very much lives for the moment. Um, and... Uh, in this day and age, I guess you, you might you might say he's a bit of an adrenaline junkie. It's <laughs> not, um, but he's got uh, he's got a fire inside him, and 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 he's on the side of the just. You know, I don't I don't he he we see him do some crazy things, but I don't but but he's not I don't think he's a sociopath or a. a a, a psychopath in, in, in any way. Um, he has to, he just knows the, the job in hand and he gets the job done. Well, it's always nice to uh, uh, revise a, 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 a role um, and uh, yeah, I feel kind of like I, I know him and, and it's, it's great to, to come back and and, and meet everyone again, you know, like, well, meet new people, but, but see some old faces, and it's kind of, uh, the, the, the Call of Duty thing has become a bit like, it's like a family, you know? It's really great to come back, it's like the sort of, the, 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 the COD family, you know? I've not done a Vietnam movie, so this is my Vietnam movie. <laughs> kind of, you know? Um, yeah, this takes it to a whole, a, a whole uh, new level um, with the black ops and it is more it's a more sophisticated game I think um, it's a labyrinth of, 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 of a story I'm in it and doing it and I'm even not sure on the outcome they try to they try to ex explain it to me and it's and it's it's very very it's not confusing it's just co it's complex um, but I think that the players um, are becoming more sophisticated at, um, at, a ver at a young age, and I think that they demand they demand more from the game. With this new Call of Duty, um, they've upped the ante. I think in both in both the, the narrative, the story. And and also the graphics, the little I've seen of it, it it it, it it's it's advanced since the last one, um, and the story is and the story is as I say it's complex but it's it's very it's very compelling. I I think it's great to be down in 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 the jungle. Um, but this has got twists and turns, and, it, and it's, we're, we're in Antarctica, and we're in a, in a, in the, a gulag m a mining camp, and then we're in, uh, and then we're in Vietnam. So 
I play it a bit. I'm not. I'm not very good at these games. I, I have to admit. But but my kids like like most of the, like most kids who pick the, these games up, and they seem to understand. They just work it out. It's. I guess I'm more famous, if that's the right word, um, for playing uh, uh, Reznov than I am for the Harry Potter movies, uh, even Batman. Well, my kids l love the fact that I'm associated with with a video game, and and this one in particular. It is. It is such. Um, it has such notoriety. But in their in their in their peer group, in, it is the ki it's like the king of games. Um, and so to be associated with it and be part of it and to play this character, um, it's a big thrill for them. And they're and they're just you know, in anticipation, waiting for this, uh, wait, waiting for this new one to come out. Well, actors, um, more and more are doing these, are doing these games. But there was always a sort of, there's always been a bit of a stigma, and I don't think that that, that applies anymore. Um, that it, it's all up for grabs. And, and it's work, and with something like uh, Call of Duty, it's, it has a prestige to it, a, pedig a pedigree, and it's interesting work. I may have been one of the first, certainly, to sort of push the boat out a little there. Um, and I think it helps because it influences what other actors do because, because they get offered these things and they look and they think, well, you know, if Gary Oldman's doing it, you know, I think I think it can only help. I think I think it helps it, and and more and more people will, uh, more and more actors will will be voicing these games.